the rush is on for spaces at public higher learning institutions. 26.7% of the class of 2022 achieved a bachelor's pass and qualify for university courses. The overall total enrollments within the public university sector for the 2023 academic year is projected to provide 1,112,439 spaces. That is an additional 41,545 spaces. This is an increment from the 1,070,894 in the 2022 academic year. This illustrates that our university sector is steadily growing. In terms of the gender profile of our enrollments, from the 2021 audited data, we have 655,427 female and 412,428 male students. With the demand for higher education growing steadily over the past few years, concerns that many universities would not be able to accommodate everyone due to capacity issues. In this regard, we also urge students to also consider the TVET colleges as an option, but not as the last option, because TVET colleges do programs that are only offered at TVET college program, and we want to make these TVET colleges colleges of choice. We have also started considering the blended learning mode as an alternative to accommodate more students. What do we mean by this? We are going to be increasingly combining teaching and learning through physical contacts as well as teaching and learning through online distance methodologies. In this regard, I have commissioned the Council on Higher Education to conduct a study on this blended learning. This mode of delivery will enable more access to higher education. This may assist with achieving the National Development Plan goal of 1.62 million enrollments in our universities by 2030. More students mean more pressure on NASFAS. Current student debt is at about 16.5 billion rand, and this cost of debt is about 1.5 billion per annum. The minister has urged all universities to work with the department, NASFAS and students on this matter. In the interim, NASFAS has agreed with all our institutions to allow all the confirmed NASFAS funded students to register for the 2023 academic year. This arrangement also applies to all students who qualify under the historic debt funds and close out reports. What does this mean? All NASFAS funded students will register without having to pay anything up front. Zamanda says the comprehensive student funding model to be tabled in Parliament this year will also look at the issue of the missing middle. It's also this challenge of missing middle funding. Those students who come from families who don't benefit from NASFAS, but also they are not wealthy enough to be able to comfortably support they are dependent, especially through university education. This matter of the missing middle is being finalized within the comprehensive student funding model. The university registration period ends on the 20th of February, with a handful of universities open for limited late registration. Students who don't qualify or don't find space have been urged to enroll at their nearest Tivet College. Nozindomi Mia, SABC News.